Greetings! It is I, Sniperman109, and today we are going to be going over some mods that I believe add a bit of variety to the game, and I think you might want to add to your next playthrough. So with that being said, let's get right to it. Number one on the list is Outlaws. The Outlaws mod adds in a variety of medieval humanoid themed outlaws to the game. These types of outlaws include looters, yaoman archers, bandit with axe, bandit with spear, and bandit footpad, along with a feral hound. The feral hound is added in by the outlaw mod, so I guess it's one of the nine enemy types the mod has. Anyways, looters are tricky devils and travel in packs. They can be extremely dangerous, so you gotta keep an eye out when traveling through the world. When they start to chase you, they can throw rocks at you to try and injure you and slow you down in the process. So be mindful of your surroundings. Looters, from my experience, can be found in open plain biomes, so at least they'll be pretty easy to spot. When killed, they drop different types of food items like onions, turnips, and bread. When skinned with a knife, you will get a severed looter head and possibly some linens from what little clothing they're wearing. What can you do with this severed looter head, you might be asking? You can actually stick the head of the looter on a spear and place it in the world. You can do this by opening the crafting menu placing a spear in one square and the severed head in the square above it. This will give you the option to craft head on a spear. When placed in the world, outlaws will not spawn within 15 blocks of this item. And if you get into a fight with outlaws and bring them close enough to the head on a spear, they will actually take a huge morale hit and may run away during combat. The more spears nearby, the more chance they will run. This applies to any outlaws and they can all have their heads put on a spear. Now on to Yaoman Archers. These guys are very deadly as well. They have extremely powerful ranged attacks and can end your life in a heartbeat. They can be found in the thick and regular forest types around the map. They can easily ambush you because of how thick the vegetation is, so be mindful when you're taking a stroll through the woods. When slain, they drop a variety of items including gears, copper arrows, and different types of food. When harvested with a knife, you get a severed head and linens. Now, on to brigands. Brigands are truly a deadly foe because of their pack mentality, so you gotta watch out for yourself and try not to get ambushed by them. When slain, brigands drop items like copper pieces, gears, food, and a variety of other things. When you harvest them with a knife, you get a severed head and linens from their clothing. Now, onto the feral hounds. These hounds live up to their names as they are indeed extremely aggressive and feral. They will attack anything near them. This even includes bandits. And I also discovered that they partake in a little self-cannibalism as well, so yeah, that's, I thought that was kind of interesting. When harvested with a knife, they drop bush meat, bones, and leather. They are a good source of food and are very common in the world. So now you not only have to watch out for wolves, but now you gotta watch for these things too. Oh yeah, almost forgot these guys. The other two enemy types are the poacher and his hunting dog. The poacher himself is friendly, but it's the dogs you have to worry about. If you get too close to the poacher and his dog or dogs, they will chase you down and attack you. Once you get far enough away though, they will go back to the poacher. If you like variety and want more enemies to spice things up in your game, then this mod is definitely for you. Up next is Vintage Story Village. This mod adds in friendly NPCs and villages into the game. The variety of structures is pretty impressive. There are castles, watchtowers, and even different types of houses all throughout the world. You can find them randomly as you explore, and some places have chests inside them, so if you want to be a thief and steal from the innocent, well, now you can! This mod also requires VS Quest, which allows you to take quests from villagers. You would gain rewards from doing these quests. So far all villagers do is wander around, some will go to their workstations and relax by fires in the evening before they turn in for the night. So if you want to make your vintage story world more immersive and not be the only friendly entity on the map, then this mod is for you.
Next mod on the list is Cages. The Cages mod allows you to capture animals in cages so you can more easily transport them to your base. You can capture an animal in a cage by equipping a cage in your hand, attacking an animal with it until its health is low, and once its health is low enough, it will automatically be put into the cage. Once that's done, bring them to an enclosed area and BOOM! You have yourself some cattle for your farm! Last mod on the list is Wolf Taming. This mod is truly great as it does what the title says. You get to tame your very own wolf pup. You need the previous mod cages in order to capture a wolf pup because it takes a while to tame one. Make a cage, capture a pup, then take it back to your base. Put it in an enclosed area and let the taming begin. Here's what you'll need. In order to tame a wolf pup, you'll need either some kind of meat or a bone. You're gonna need lots of meat or bones in order to tame this majestic creature. If you feed the pup meat, it will tame the dog 10% for each piece of meat you feed it. If you use bones, it would only tame it 5% each bone you feed it. So, I would gather as much meat as possible so you can tame the pup as fast as possible. You can only try and tame the pup up to five times per day. So if you stay at it, you can have a tame pup within two in-game days. Once tamed, you can make a collar for your new steadfast companion to wear. You can even make armor and give your new pet a backpack so they can help carry stuff for you. And best of all, they can protect you from the evils that lurk within the world. This mod is truly awesome, and if you are looking for a loyal companion to join you on your adventure, then this mod <laughs> is definitely for you. Well, that's it guys. These are four mods that you would want to add to your next Vintage Story playthrough. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to snipe that like button and subscribe for more content like this. And don't forget to click that bell icon so you can see when I post more videos like this. But if you like my work and would like to support me financially and help me become a full-time YouTuber, you can do that by heading on down in the description, clicking my Ko-Fi link, and you can support me over there. I would be greatly appreciated. And if you'd like to chat with me and others who support my channel, you can do that by heading down in the description, clicking my Discord link, and I also alert people every single time I post a video over there because I tag everyone. So if you want to ensure that you don't miss a single video that I post, you can join my Discord server. And with that being said, I will see you all in my next video. Peace!